Thank you for your interest in the Roberts test equipment. We would like to show you some of the unique and outstanding features of the Roberts test beds. These products are designed and built by President Joe Roberts, who has over 15 years experience as an owner and operator of rigging shops. The Roberts testing machines can be built to any specifications, from a relatively small 10,000 pound test bed to the massive 3 million pound test bed recently built for Lowry Brothers in New Orleans. Some of the more common sizes are 200,000, 300,000, and 600,000 pound test beds. However, any size or configuration may be designed, engineered, and built to best fit your specific needs and applications. The standard base unit length is 20 feet long, yet this impressive 3 million pound test bed is 206 feet long and 8 feet 6 inches wide allowing room for a forklift inside the test bed, which is useful when testing these giant slings used in the offshore oil drilling and exploration industry. Here, a sling is being lifted from the warehouse and moved to the test bed for testing. This sling is a Gator Flex, nine parts of a two and a half inch EIP wire rope. The rating of this sling is 924,000 pounds and will be tested to almost two million pounds. The Roberts test bed allows for easy access for loading the sling. The sling is loaded from the top, ensuring ease in handling and helping to prevent abrasion damage to the sling by dragging. The standard test beds are equipped with counterbalanced safety covers. They are counterbalanced open and closed, providing easy operation and safe handling. The three million pound test bed has removable top sections, which can be removed by forklift or crane. This aids in the loading of the sling into the test bed. The slings are then lowered onto the load pins, which remain in the vertical position. The carriage is being pushed into position with the forklift. On all machines, the crosshead and carriage are mounted on roller bearings, making them easily adjustable for different length slings. Once the sling is loaded, the top sections are replaced and secured by locking pins. The sling is then flexed and all of the connections are given a final check. As with all of the Roberts test beds, a remote control is provided, allowing the operator to move away from the control panel to the test bed for easier operation and closer inspection of the placement of the test specimen in the bed. After all connections have been checked, the covers closed, and all safety precautions have been taken, the sling is ready to be tested. Tension is supplied by hydraulic cylinders. Actual testing is performed on all units using hydraulic pressure. This pressure is easily adjustable by turning the pressure adjustment valve. 
The three million pound test machine has a full range of instrumentation. The heart of the measuring system is the electronic load cell, which supplies the signal to the load meters. The primary meter is the normal load meter, which tells the operator the load being applied to the test specimen. In addition to the normal load meter, a peak load meter is available, which displays the maximum load applied to the specimen during the course of the test. A printer is also available, providing a hard copy readout of the test load applied. The displacement meter option measures the length of the sling under full load by measuring the movement of the cylinders. This measurement is accurate down to one-tenth of an inch and allows the user to ensure that all slings are equally loaded when making critical megaton lifts. All of the information displayed by the meters can be printed by the optional XY graph, which plots load versus displacement. Any of the load and test display meters can be added to the standard instrument panel for use with any size bed. The standard panel consists of a normal load meter and a peak load meter. The peak load meter is reset by the push of a button. All of the Roberts test beds are calibrated to ASTM E4, traceable to the National Bureau of Standards. This machine is calibrated from 30,000 pounds to 3 million pounds. The test load for this specimen was almost 2 million pounds. The Roberts grip is designed to hold wire rope, strand, rod, or any round material without damage or slippage. The grip holds equally well on wire rope with fiber core, steel core, lang lay, right regular lay, strand, guy wire, or any other construction. The Roberts wire rope grip is designed primarily for proof testing, pre-stretching, pulling, or holding wire rope and strand without damage to the test piece. The Roberts wire rope grip will grip the test piece in the middle of the specimen without damage and makes it easy to put tension on the rope where end fittings or end termination are difficult or impractical. The Roberts wire rope grip works on a wedge principle utilizing a set of wedges in a V-shaped frame. As the wedges move down the V, the center of the wedges close on the rope and hold without slippage or damage to the test rope. The most unique feature of the Roberts wire rope grip is its ease of opening and closing during loading or unloading. The top sections are lifted straight up off pins. These tops are made of alloy steel and are made in sections, with the heaviest piece being approximately 25 pounds on the two and a half inch grip. Another unique feature is the addition of a frame on wheels. The frame raises the grip to working height and makes it easier to load and unload the test rope. The wheels allow one person to move the grip from point A to point B easily and efficiently. The wheels also provide a very useful function when the grip is used on the cylinder end of the test bed. They allow the grip to move with the cylinder and this movement forward releases all tension on the rope. The wedges will not open when there is tension on the rope. This demonstration with fixed wheels shows the difficulty in opening the grip even with the slight tension caused by only the weight of the rope. For the operator, these wheels provide a very important feature since the hydraulic cylinder is now doing the work of moving the grip rather than men having to physically move these heavy objects. Another unique feature is the handle arrangement. Other competitive grips have internal springs to provide the positive forward movement of the wedges. The internal spring causes problems opening, holding open, and controlling the closing of the wedges. The external spring on the Roberts grip prevents the wedge from unexpectedly closing on the fingers of the operator as he is positioning the test piece in the wedge. 
By installing the handle, the internal springs were removed. The handle now provides the opening and closing force. With the handle, the wedge movement is controllable and predictable, as the wedges cannot close unexpectedly. External springs are attached to the handle after moving the wedges forward, thereby providing positive forward movement to the wedges. The Roberts grip is very easy to operate. To install the rope, remove the safety pins and lift off the top bars. Next, retract the wedges. Lay the wire rope in the grips and close the wedges, checking that the wire rope is properly seated. Replace the tops and safety pins and connect the external spring. The grip is now operational. Removal of the wire rope is simply the reversal of the installation procedure. Disconnect the springs, remove the top bars, and remove the rope. The Roberts wire rope grip comes in three sizes. Each of these sizes can be easily adapted for different size rope, down to 3 8 inch diameter, by simply placing the inserts in the jaw and locking them in place. The one and a half inch grip will handle rope from 3 8 inch diameter up to one and a half inches. The two inch grip will handle any size rope from 3 8 inches to two inches, and the two and a half inch grip will handle any size rope from 3 8 inch to two and a half inches. Thank you for your interest in the Roberts testing equipment. Our products are designed and engineers with the safety conscious, cost efficient, and time saving rigging shop in mind. Roberts testing equipment, designed and built by riggers for riggers.